uh, for the proper ignition. The S1B first stage fuel tank is pressurized and the second uh, stage liquid oxygen tank pressurizing at this time. Now coming up on the two minute mark, T minus two minutes and counting, T minus two. Not as much uh, reports now on the uh, communication circuits as everybody stands by monitoring the various consoles and watching the various parameters to ensure everything is okay. T minus one hour, one minute, 43 seconds and counting. We are still proceeding. And just at this Astronaut moment, a great gust of wind sweeps our press camp here. Second mark in our countdown. Mark, T minus 90 seconds and counting. T minus 90. We have conditioned the liquid oxygen in the first stage of the Saturn launch vehicle. All, all tanks in the two stages now pressurizing. Most of the work over these final several minutes concerned with the launch vehicle directed by the test conductor, Don Carlson. One minute, 10 seconds and counting. We still are go at this time. Coming up on one minute. Mark, T minus 60 seconds and counting. We are go for Apollo 7 at this time. This is the first man test of the Saturn 1B. Now pressurized and the vehicle is go as is the spacecraft at this time. First Coming American three-man flight. T minus 40 seconds and counting. The first step in a All final series of tests uh, to get American on the moon All by the end of go, 1969. T seconds and counting. We'll get ignition of those eight engines in the first stage at the three-second mark in the countdown. Now T minus 21 seconds and counting. We have completed our power transfer. The Saturn 1B launch vehicle, which now weighs 1.3 million pounds, is ready to go. Coming up on the 10 second mark. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. We have ignition. Commit liftoff. We have liftoff. Slowly, slowly. This is launch control. We have cleared the tower. Roger, tower clear. Five seconds from that sound reaches. The program has commenced. making their first space flight. Wally Shira, his third, riding that big spacecraft in the air. The voice is now third. mission control change from Jack King to One Paul minute, Haney. 40 Houston. seconds. They've gone through maximum dynamic pressure. Flight director asks the flight dynamics officer if he likes it, and he says, yes, sir, it looks good. Look at the flame. 700 gallons of RP-1 and liquid oxidizer burning up there every second. That thing developing a million... Coming up on two pounds. minutes, Mark, two minutes. Uh, we're having a status check. Apollo 7 has been given a go for staging go for staging the separation of that uh, first stage that comes in about two minutes ten minutes ten seconds. seconds from now that's the first critical point after lift off. inboard engines have shut down and they're staging outboard engines have shut down Shira call both events he's got ignition and he says we're up to thrust on the second stage that is our Igor Long Range Camera. is okay at 2 minutes 40 seconds into the flight. So the 15th 
consecutive successful flight of the S. Well, it is all beautiful. That tower has really jettisoned. It went way out. We're nearly 50 miles altitude now and about 60 miles downrange. You see the escape tower tumbling up there in the upper Three left-hand minutes, side of the screen. Three minutes, into the flight. He got the separation plan from the first sex, uh, section and the sure, second just stage has ignited. Capcom uh, here in Houston, a very clean... Uh, voice communication today, three minutes, 25 seconds into the flight. This is the best view we've ever had from our magnificent Igor camera. Trajectory and guidance uh, give another go here. Well, of course it is a little bumpy on the second stage, a little bumpy. But uh, we can't... We can't hear any complaints. 70 miles altitude and about 120 miles downrange. This second stage burns uh, until 10 minutes and 15 seconds into the flight. Another uh, six minutes. That's a 225,000 seconds into the flight. Pound thrust engine. Shiraz says the gimbal check looks very good. observation is the one G stuff is great. Apparently the G loads were quite low. That means the... We've been monitoring uh, Shiraz heart rate because that's the only physical parameter we have coming through and it uh, at launch and through the early stages ran about 90 to 92 beats. Four minutes, 50 seconds into the flight. The flight director is pulling all his stations here and is getting enthusiastic goes at every console. Five minutes into the flight. 